Hey, Abel, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Seymour. I'm working on the vision statement for the Church of the Brethren. Sounds like a big project, but that takes a lot of time. Well, it's a big project, but we already have the vision statement done. Now we're working on ways to help others see the vision. See the vision? Well, what, what does it say? Through scripture, Jesus calls us. Hello? Is this Abel? I'm calling you, calling you, get it? Yes, I get it. <laughs> Do you suppose through the scripture, uh, through the word, well, is that like emailing or texting? I guess maybe you could say that would be a modern day interpretation. I suppose that is a form of texting. Oh, uh, now may I go on? By all means, go right ahead. I know to see what this says. To live as courageous disciples by work and action. Courageous. What does that mean? There was a captain courageous. Now he was a he was a superhero. Do I have to live like a superhero? Were the disciples superheroes? What do I do as a courageous works and acts? How do I live that way? You know, Seymour, you ask a lot of questions. How about I continue? Why, why sure, go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. Good, I'll continue. To surrender ourselves to God. Surrender. Now, is that like when you wave the white flag and, and uh, you had to give all your stuff to the person in charge of the enemy? Yes, but in this case, you would be giving to yourself, to God. Well, God's definitely not the enemy. I would be giving my whole self to God? God would be in charge. God in charge of my whole self. That could be difficult. Going on, to embrace one another. Embrace. Would that be like hugs? Hugs are good. Now, I can get into that. I, I can do that part. Uh, <laughs> embracing people I like, you know. Yes, Seymour. It's easy for me to embrace people I like. But I'm surrendering to God. It means embracing people I like and also those people I don't like. What if they are different than me? Can I embrace them and accept them and their differences? Can you? Well, uh... Can I finish this now? Oh, sure. To express Go God... right ahead, don't let me stop you. <laughs> to express God's love for all creation. So I need to show God's love for all creation. Does that mean my neighbor Joe, he leaves the leaves out, he leaves his trash out and it blows all over and I have to pick them all up? And he leaves his leaves up laying out and they blow in my yard and I have to rake his leaves up? And then there's that yippy dog he has, drives me nuts. All creation. All creation. That's right. All creation not just your next-door neighbor Joe but all people all around the world all the resources food water air the earth show God's love for all creation but Abel what about that yippee dog how do I show love there <laughs> Seymour it starts with you and each individual. You have to find God's love in each person. Look for the best in them, or in the case of the yippy dog, learn to love him and try to show God's love and kindness. That doesn't sound easy. So is that it? That's it. Can you say that vision statement again? You know, old Seymour needs to be able to see the vision. Okay, here it goes. Through scripture, 
Jesus calls us to live as courageous disciples by work and action, to surrender ourselves to God, to embrace one another, to express God's love for all creation. What do you think? What do you see? I think uh, I can see where you're going with this. And I think I can follow the vision, but... But what? Well, looking at the vision, there are parts that sounds like they could be too difficult to do. Uh, hard for me to do by myself. Seymour, just remember, you won't be alone. When you have surrendered to God, God will see that you, your church family, and the Church of the Brethren will be working together to fulfill the vision. I see. I'm glad you see, Seymour. Yep, I see more. Seymour, get it? I see the vision? Yes, Seymour, I get it. Abel, uh, just one more question. What's that? Are you able? Get it? Able to see the vision? <laughs> <laughs>